Hey everyone, Kaylee here with three very easy hairstyles that you can wear with sparkly hair accessories. Basically any of my hairstyles on my channel can be worn with the sparkly accessory, but these are super easy that you can throw together in a pinch if you need to. So let's go ahead and start out with this first one with the curls. Now you could wear this with retro curls or with like Victoria's Secret style curls, basically anything. So I put together a playlist of all the curl tutorials I've done for you to look at and choose your favorite curls to wear with this hairstyle. So what you're going to do is take the hair on the side that has the least amount of hair and pull it back to the position that you like it at. And then separate the hair that's on top of that area where you've pulled your hair back to. And then pin the hair in place. Then once you have those pins in place, you can let the hair down and it will cover the bobby pins. Then all you have to do is stick in your sparkly hair accessory of choice and your hairstyle is complete. It's very, very easy, but pulling it back on the one side just adds a little bit of drama and gives you the chance to wear some awesome sparkle in your hair. Now moving on to something braided and beachy because I know you guys love that kind of thing. Start on the side of your hair that has the least amount of hair and take a large section of hair from all the hair that's over your ear and even slightly behind it. Try to get as many of your short layers in here as you can and just braid that normally all the way across till you get to the other side of your head. If you have a lot of short layers, you could also do a Dutch braid if you want to here. It's really up to you and your hair needs. Once you get to the other side of your hair, just pin it in place. Then take a large section of hair from the front on the other side and drape it over the bobby pins so that you can hide them and pin back up and into those bobby pins so that you crisscross your pins and they hold really well. Now we're going to create the braids. I'm starting out with the section that's right next to my face and I'm doing a fishtail braid. Now what's cool about this hairstyle is that you can supplement any braid that you prefer. So if there's only a couple braids that you know how to do or if you really like a certain braid, you can supplement any of those braids in with what I'm doing here. But first I'm doing a fishtail braid and you can go ahead and secure that at the end once you reach the end of your hair. And then I'm going to do a normal braid and I'm going to catch all those little layers that you see right here in my normal braid because I think a normal three strand braid kind of hides flyaways the best. And then I'm going to secure that at the end with a small ponytail holder. Now if you want to you can just secure your hair at the end here and you've got a Blake Lively-esque style. But I've done a tutorial on that before and I know that people didn't like that too much so I'm going to braid these three sections together. You can see I have one unbraided section and then two braided sections. So it creates a really cool texture at the end of the day and I'm braiding it very loosely so it looks very full. And at the end it's very bohemian and beachy and makes a really great statement during the holiday time. And now moving on to this voluminous romantic bun. I don't know if you guys can tell I've been loving these lately. Separate the hair on either side in front of your ears. And then with the hair that's behind your ears, we're going to go ahead and put it in a ponytail at the middle of your head. You don't want to make this too low or you won't have any room to pin, so just make sure it's about the middle of your head. And then we're going to go ahead and take half of the hair and just wrap it around the base. And you're kind of going to make a bun shape just with this half of the hair. And I'm not twisting it, I'm just wrapping it because it gives a really great loose romantic look. But you do want to pin as you go with this so that you still get a really secure style. So you saw that I pinned it even before I finished wrapping it and now I'm pinning it again. You just want to put as many pins in as you need to make it feel secure. Then take the second half of your hair and wrap it around the outside. This is a great way to make really thin hair look much fuller. And again, once you have that all pinned, then we can move on to the next step. Make sure that all the flyaways are pinned away so that they're not sticking out throughout the night because that's kind of awkward. We're going to take the hair from the front and give it one or two little twists and then stick those twists right next to the bun and pin it in place. Then repeat the same thing on the other side. This gives a really pretty look from the front like you took a lot more time with your hair than you did without actually having to work very hard. Then just wrap the ends of your hair around the bun and pin them in place. And you are going to be done with this hairstyle. So it's very easy and quick but it creates a really great romantic but soft bun which I think is great because it's not too conservative but it's also just really romantic and beautiful. If you want to learn how to make the hair accessories that I was using in this video, you can check out my previous video. And I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye!